Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright, everyone. Welcome to episode number 25 of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. Today, we've got week 10 of season 2 here on tap between the UCF Knights, who are fresh off an upset win against Notre Dame. As you take a look at the American East standings, we will play Notre Dame in two weeks, and it's looking like that will shape up to be the deciding game in the uh, to decide the division. But hello everyone and welcome to Lad Peebles Stadium in Mobile, Alabama. We've got some Week 10 football here for you today between the number 24 South Alabama Jaguars and the UCF Knights. UCF comes in off an upset of Notre Dame while South Alabama escaped last week in a last second, second victory against USF. UCF will get the ball to start the game, and on third down and five, they'll give to Juwan Hamilton, and Hamilton's going to be brought down a couple inches shy of the first. So UCF will go three and out to start the game, and it's a third and three for South Alabama on their next drive, and that was not a very good throw from Evan Orth. It's knocked away and incomplete. As you can see on the season, Orth has 100 or 1,863 yards and 21 touchdowns through the air. But right there, that one's incomplete. South Alabama has to punt it away as well. So later on, the ensuing UCF possession, the Knights have it second and nine. And Mackenzie Milton going to keep it himself. He's blown up in the backfield for a loss of two. Milton dragged down right away. He had nowhere to go. And that was Rosell McWilliams there to make the play. That will set up a third and 11 here. 4.45 to go first quarter. Milton wants to scramble. Throw and deep. Caught. No dropped. That ball was knocked out of the hands of his intended target. It will set up fourth and 11. UCF has to punt. Good field position here for South Alabama from their own 45. They'll give them in on first down. Ball comes out. It's picked up by UCF. And Burgess Becker going to return that one to the South Alabama 13. A critical fumble there by Trey Minner. Going to not only choke away good starting field position, but that will set up UCF inside the red zone already. And that ball was clearly out before it hit the ground. So a first down from the 15 of the Jaguars. Milton going to keep it himself. Dropped in the backfield. He's got nowhere to go. Sean Brown there to make the play. Sets up a second and 11 here. 4.13 to go. First quarter still scoreless. They'll give to Hamilton who's going to break a couple tackles. And Juwan Hamilton looked like he might have been stopped at the line of scrimmage. Bounces off a tackle instead and he'll pick up 14 and a first down. They're on at second and goal. Milton's into the end zone untouched. Mackenzie Milton, the quarterback, going to get into the end zone. And UCF capitalizes on the Trey Minner fumble. And they will lead it 7-0, pending the extra point with 3.57 to go here first quarter. The kick will be taken by Harris from his own end zone. Harris going to try and bounce it out toward the sideline. Puts on a spin move and gets out to about the 35. That'll set up a first down here. For South Alabama, Francis in motion for the Jaguars on first down. They'll go back to Minner, and Trey Minner will pick up 16 down to about midfield there on first down. Four carries, 26 yards for Minner. He does have a fumble today, but a nice gain right there on first down. Going to move the chains, and it'll set up South Alabama at midfield. Later on, it's now second and two here, 2.43 to go first quarter. South Alabama trails UCF 7-0. The pass will be caught by Denzel Foster. And Foster will have just enough for the first down needed to and got exactly that. They're on out his second and four here for the Jaguars. They're moving deeper into UCF territory. There's Rinkemeyer who's going to make the catch. 
break off one tackle and just completely shed a defender and fall forward for a gain of 14. They're on out his second and seven here from the call it 17 of UCF. Back to pass. Play action. Got a man. It's Rinkemeyer. And Andrew Rinkemeyer into the end zone for the South Alabama touchdown. Orth is 4 of 5 with a touchdown. He, and you see right there, Rinkemeyer just split two UCF defenders. He play action works to perfection there. He splits his two defenders, makes the catch in stride at about the two, and just falls into the end zone. And just like that, we are tied here at the end of the first quarter. South Alabama and UCF are knotted at seven here after one in Mobile. It is a third and five here for UCF as we begin this second quarter of play. And that will be knocked away and incomplete. What a job by Tobias Moss to break up that pass. It sets up a fourth down and UCF is going to have to punt it away. A second and five here on the ensuing South Alabama possession. That ball will be caught by Kawan Baker. And you can see right there just kind of throwing it up to where Baker can run up and make a play on it. Nice pitch and catch right there from Evan Orth to Kawan Baker. It'll set up a third and one here later in the drive. Orth going to give it to Roberts. And Roberts, the fullback, going to pick up three. It'll be enough to move the chains. That's a South Alabama first down. As they have moved the ball into the red zone. It is second and two here from the 15. Manero get the handoff. And he'll pick up again a gain of six. Move those chains for South Alabama again. It's now second and goal from about the three. Down already to 325 to go here. That pass will be caught for a touchdown. Sam Harris, the wide out, going to get open on the slant, and that's his first receiving score of the season. But Sam Harris got open on a slant in the end zone, and he's going to make the grab, finally get into the end zone, and on the board in the receiving touchdown category. He's made an, an impact in the return game all year, but all of a sudden it's 14-7 South Alabama, and here goes Mackenzie Milton. On a third and one, he's going to scramble for a gain of 37. Now it's second and nine from the 28 of South Alabama. Milton going to throw. That's caught. And Trey Quan Smith going to pick up 11 and another first down. Dropped immediately by Kerry Green. Milton, not really sure what he's doing here. Sort of running around in circles almost. And he's going to be dropped in the backfield by Bull Barge. That's going to be... A loss of the couple sets up a third and nine here for UCF. Milton feeling the pressure. Hit and dropped. Down goes Mackenzie Milton. Taji Stewart came free to make the play right there. You can see he just threw off the offensive lineman and got to Mackenzie Milton. Took the quarterback down. And that will set up a fourth and 16. UCF's got to settle for a field goal try here. And the kick is going to be through the uprights. It's now 14 to 10, South Alabama. Minute 26 to go here, first half. All right, minute 26 to go here in the first half. South Alabama with two timeouts still to work with. Harris will take this one from his own end zone. Harris going to bounce this one out to the sideline. It's another nice return, bouncing off tackles. Sam Harris, a 56-yard return going to set up South Alabama in UCF territory. Now a third and six here later. It's going to be caught by Kawan Baker on a little bit of a corner out. And that's going to be caught by Baker enough to move the chains and get them closer to field goal range here. Orse back to pass. Throws underneath. Caught by Baker on the slant. And Kawan Baker going to get this one down to the 15. Gain of 12, Baker's got three catches, 44 yards. And South Alabama would eventually have to settle for a field goal try, and it's no good. A terribly, just a terrible attempt, missed it, never had a chance. And so South Alabama moves the ball down into the red zone, and they miss a field goal try. It's 14-10 still at halftime, Jaguars on top. Thompson will return this for South Alabama to begin the second half. Thompson's got a nice 
a nice hole right there. And he's going to pick up 46. But it looks like Thompson is slow to get up. And so that's your top cornerback who is hurt now on third and three or third and two, sorry, later in the drive. Denzel Foster up the middle for 13. The backup tailback going to come up with a big third down conversion. Now set up a first down from the 40 of UCF. Or it's back to pass, taking a shot. That's intercepted by Neal. He was looking for Kwan Baker. Under through it just a little bit. And Neal was able to jump in front of that and pick that off. There will be a flag on Baker for grabbing the face mask when he went to make the tackle. And so UCF has turned over South Alabama for the second time today. They face a second and six now. Throws. That's caught by Davis, who's going to shed a tackle and get up to the 40. That's a gain of 10 for Gabriel Davis. And that's a UCF first down. 5.25 to go here, third quarter. South Alabama trying to hold on to a four-point lead. There's McWilliams there to blow up Milton in the backfield again. Rosell McWilliams with his second tackle for a loss today. And Milton never had a chance, but you can see there Thompson is going to be out for the remainder of this game. And that means true freshman Kerry Green going to have to slide over to the cornerback one spot. And so we'll have to see what this says to the secondary with that injury. It'll set up a third and one here later on following a nice scramble. Sets so up third and one from midfield almost. And Milton's got nowhere to go. He is stood up immediately by Riley Cole. And Milton, I mean, he just got stuffed right there by Cole. Hit him right at the line of scrimmage and did not let Milton break that tackle and pick up a first down. As you can take a look at the yards by half for both teams so far. And so the interception by Orth does not hurt South Alabama. They're back on offense here and they'll give the ball to Minner up the middle for a gain of 12. 15 carries, 89 yards for Minner. He does have a lost fumble today. So it'll be first down from their own 21 here. 340 to go here, third quarter. It's a four-point South Alabama lead. Or taking a shot toward the sideline. That's caught by Kawan Baker for 21 more. And Baker with four catches, 65 yards. Or, or this 10 of 15. For like 115 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. And that was a nice grab right there by Kawan Baker. Later on, it is now a second and seven here for South Alabama. Orth's got nowhere to go. Ball comes loose as he's hit. It'll be recovered by an offensive lineman, it looks like. So South Alabama avoids a disastrous third turnover. But it'll be third and long here. Actually... That might have been Trey Minner who fell on that loose ball. Minner who fumbled earlier, able to pick that one up. It's third and 16. We'll see what sort of answer South Alabama has. Take a shot deep, has a man open, and it's Rinkemeyer. Andrew Rinkemeyer wide open for a gain of 31 on third down and 16. That was busted coverage by UCF. And Andrew Rinkemeyer will make the Knights defense pay. With a big third down conversion right there. We're nearing the end of the third quarter. It's now third and 13. Orth takes a shot. That's knocked away. Incomplete. And it'll be decision time here for head coach Christian Horn. As they are in no man's land. They're going to try and get 13 right here. Orth back to pass. Pressure comes. Got to get rid of it. And that'll be picked off. Neal with his second interception of the day. The third overall turnover for this UCF defense. And Evan Orth, I mean, he threw that one up there because the pressure was coming and no one was open. So he was just trying to make a play. Doesn't work out. And we have reached the end of the third quarter. Three down, one to go here in Mobile. South Alabama clinging to a 14-10 lead. It's a second and nine for UCF as we begin this final quarter of play. Milton throws underneath. That's caught by Smith. Trey Quan Smith going to pick up a gain of 12. And that will be enough to move the chains for UCF. This defense has done a good job keeping a potent 
UCF offense in check for the most part. And there goes Mackenzie Milton. He kept it himself, and Milton's got a huge gain inside the 10. 60 yards on first down for Mackenzie Milton. And now set up first and goal. Now third and goal from the two. Milton back to pass. Throws end zone. Caught. That's caught by Jordan Akins. And just like that, UCF is back in front. 7-18 to go in the game. And it'll be 17-14 UCF pending the extra point. Well, they went and upset Notre Dame last week. They're looking to pull off a second upset here this week against South Alabama. They have a three-point lead here, 7-18 left. Tobias Moss going to take this one himself. And Moss will take that one up to about the 28. But there is a flag. There will be a face mask tack on 15 yards at the end of that return. And so now South Alabama starting at their own 42. There's a second and three here later in the drive for South Alabama. They will give the ball to Minner. Minner's got a nice hole. And Trey Minner going to pick up 10 and another South Alabama first down. He's over 100 yards today, 17 carries for 106. He does have a fumble early in the game. And on third and four, that pass will be rifled down the field to Masiaia France, who's is going to pick up 13. And that's a big third down conversion here for South Alabama. Later on, it is now third and seven. 3.20 to go here. They're going to take a shot, and that's incomplete. It looked like that could have potentially been a touchdown, but it hit off Rinkemeyer's shoulder pads. So South Alabama going to settle for a field goal, and this game is tied at 17 as you take a look at the offense at a glance here. I mean, you know, this UCF offense look like, looks like it's Started to find its momentum again, and we should be in for a thrilling final three minutes here at Ladd Peebles Stadium. On first down, Riley Cole going to drop Jawan Hamilton in the backfield for a loss of two. It's second and 12 here, 250 to go. Milton going to keep it himself. Mackenzie Milton looks like this could be a first down as Mills misses, and Bobby Flock going to knock Milton out of bounds, but not before he reaches midfield. First down, Milton throws, picked off. That is going to be intercepted by Kerry Green. Green with a break, with a broken tackle and Green to the end zone. South Alabama back on top. And Kerry Green, the true freshman cornerback from Marion, Alabama, switching over to that side of the field thanks to an injury earlier in the half by Jalen Thompson. He's just going to jump that route right there. You can see reading Milton's eyes all the way. Steps in front of the receiver. And Kerry Green with the play of the game so far. South Alabama's back in front. He picks that ball off. Broke one tackle at about the 36. And then he took it to the end zone for his first career pick six. So just like that. Ten unanswered points for South Alabama here. Milton trying to roll out. Scramble, scrambles. He's sacked and dropped by Sean Dreyer for a loss of six. You can see he just sort of ran right into Dreyer as he was spinning off his lineman. And that's a big loss here for South Alab or for UCF rather. Second down and 16. Two minutes left. Milton taking a shot deep. Intercepted by Green again. Green with interceptions on back-to-back -back drives. This one's not a pick six, but he may have helped seal this game for South Alabama as now they can work on chewing the clock. They only need three to make this a two-score game. And what a job by Green to step up, take on a bigger role due to injury, and he comes up with interceptions on back-to-back -back drives. That'll be a first down carry for Trey Minner. And UCF will begin to call its timeouts. Well, they're able to hold South Alabama to a fourth and five. The field goal try on the way, and it is no good. He missed it short. That's Patterson's second missed field goal of the game. 
and Kerry Green doing his best to seal the win with two critical fourth quarter interceptions. But UCF still can tie it with a touchdown here. Fourth and six. That's caught. Dedrick Snelson going to pick up 15 on fourth and six. Unbelievable. Kerry Green was not on the field on that fourth down play. I got to say that's a little bit of a surprise, or at least he wasn't on that side of the field. Second and 10 here later on. That will be caught by Jordan Aikens for a gain of 12. First down to the 45 of South Alabama. A minute left in this game. Milton feeling the pressure drop. Down he goes. That's a big time sack by Tyree Turner. And he'll set up a second down and 22 here. Milton back to pass. Throws deep. Got him, man. It's Taji Or not Taji Stewart. That'll be Cam Stewart. And again, for some reason, Kerry Green not on that side of the ball. They're on outs third and ten. They'll throw to Hamilton. Ball comes out. But it's going to fall out of bounds. What a break for UCF. Who's going to be tackled for a minimal gain. And the clock would have kept running because he would have been in bounds. But the ball comes loose and falls out of bounds. That would stop the clock. But they're going to review it. And you can see it, at least from that angle, it does look like he is down before the ball comes out. Oh yeah, his knees are down before that ball comes out. This play is going to be overturned, and that will set up a fourth and long, and the clock continues to run. Fourth and 11, instead of, you know, getting some time off, the clock's running. Milton scramble sacked! He's going to lose a gain of, he's going to lose five yards. The sack on fourth down, and this South Alabama defense comes up big one more time. A swarm of Jaguar defenders there to drag Milton down. And South Alabama looking to get out of here. Or they win. Back to pass or taking a shot deep. Don't know why he's doing that, but Baker's wide open. Quan Baker wide open down to the 10. He'll pick up 57 yards. And you can see Orr's still not going to reach 250 yards passing. He was going to try and get there for some wideouts who are attending this game. They are visiting this week. Wanted to try and get 250 for him, but realized they were going to be short. And so wide open, but still not anywhere near enough for 250. They will run out the clock from there. And South Alabama wins this one 24-17. Or with a 133 QB rating, 258 or 238 yards, sorry. Two touchdowns, two picks, minute 20 carries, 120 yards. He did have a big fumble, but averaged six yards a carry. Baker with seven catches, 136 yards, no touchdowns. But Rinkmeyer had three catches, 61 yards, and a score. Minute two for 15. And Sam Harris. The senior wide out with his first receiving touchdown of the season. And we are going to go take a look now at defense. Eight tackles for Nigel Lawrence, five for Flott, four for Stewart and Cole. A host of defenders with three, even more with two. You can see four South Alabama defenders with two tackles for loss, four more with one. So this defense played very well today. Looking at sacks, you got... Henderson, Turner, Grayer, and Stewart. And Kerry Green, the unlikely hero here today. Two interceptions, including the go-ahead pick six. That provided the winning score. His first career pick six. He's got seven interceptions now on the season. And... They were, this coaching staff is definitely right to be excited about landing him on signing day. Patterson went one for three on field goals. Not his finest day, but he does enough to get the win. You can see return wise, I mean, a good day returning kicks as well. Unfortunately, Thompson got hurt on that return to start the second half. He got hurt. Kerry Green stepped up in his absence. 
And South Alabama avoids the upset with a seven-point win. That'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.